there. I'm going to be working on this leg first off, and then uh, I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put his arm and hand. Um, I might just bring it down across here and have the hand holding underneath the, uh, or in front of the uh, trigger guard underneath the uh, sheath. And that might uh, work out as a better position for, for it. Right now, I'm going to finish out uh, this leg. And I've got to make both moccasins the same length. Which I'm attempting to do as I speak. There we go. Just a little bit less. All right, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, yesterday I mentioned that uh, my paint bottle is getting a little ripe <laughs> after 10 years. And I remembered I had this uh, plastic container. And so I just poured whatever paint was left into this. It's got a lid on it, so it'll keep it uh, from drying out, hopefully. Now, I'll have to probably get another jar when I go to the store next time, but uh, anyway, that's going to have to work for now. I'll put that out of the way. All right, I've got, uh, I'm backing up what's going to be underneath the fringe of the uh, leg, and uh, I would normally do wrinkles on this side, but uh, I'm just going to do the wrinkles from the seam uh, up, because that's where the uh, fringe it will start is at the seam of the legs leggings and I'm putting the seam in here just sketching it in okay We got a strong south wind. That's what you hear in the windows. It's uh, well over 50 degrees, which is uh, last week at this time it was minus 20. That's how quickly temperature can change in Montana. I'm just filling in behind the leg here because I can't have that deep hole. I can have it, but it has to be constructed in such a way that uh, the mold maker can pull the mold out. And yet it's my job to make it look like it's not filled in. Sculptors have to be a bit of a magician. 
you have to fool the eye and uh, the senses so that what you're looking at even though it isn't what it is you got to make people believe it is does that make sense I'm not going to show everything about the creation of the wrinkles in the uh, legging because it's too hard to get it on camera in a good angle where my fingers and hands aren't in the way. So I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I've run some Super Sculpty through the uh, pasta machine. I first flattened it out and then I put it through ah, the spaghetti thing and it just dropped it all on the floor. Ah! Well, I picked up a, a little bit of the fringe. I can always make more. It's not the end of the world. Yes, it is. It's the end of the world. <laughs> uh. It's my inner self coming out. Again, I've got to be careful to make it so that uh, they can cast it. I used to, before I got the pasta machine, I used to cut the fringe by hand. And believe me, that took forever. The pasta machine just saves me a lot of time. And time for a sculptor is golden. good I'm gonna run some more through the pasta machine I'm try not to drop this time I'm starting from below instead of up the upper part of the legging because it just works out better. And I make all the fringe the same length. Same length on the other side as it is on this side. Okay, I'm just going to cover the upper seam of the legging to make the uh, fringe even out. Where the seam is. Okay. So now I think what I'll do is go ahead and paint that. Using my super duper container with my paint in it.
All right, I'm just running out of time. I uh, got a late, late start today. And uh, I'll be uh, back on this uh, tomorrow. Um, I want to get this uh, shirt finished out here. And uh, I brought his shoulder forward a little bit because his arm <coughs> changed position. And uh, I'm, I'm liking the fringe now that it has uh, gone flat color. Uh, when you put, first put the paint on, it uh, is a little bit shiny. But uh, I'm liking the way this is turning out. I've got a lot of work I'll do on the shirt before I can start doing the, uh, the uh, pouch and powder horn. All right, good night, everybody, and uh, I'll see you next time. I just saw a hole I got to fill in real quick. I don't know what that's from. Uh, I'm tired. Been a long day already for me. <laughs> All right, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.